Hey, and uh, welcome to my room. Uh, Sterling here, N zero SSC. I'm gonna take you on a little tour of my ham shack in in a sh as short as shortest amount of time as possible. Um, so here we go. Right here is a ICOM T7H uh, dual band two meter four forty meter HT that uh, I bought for working satellites but the problem is it doesn't transmit on one band receive on another so that is a bummer here's my clocks one of them is uh, Greenwich time and it has is a weather station wind uh, temperature humidity barometric pressure and so on this one is uh, local time yes it's 447 in the morning I like to stay up during the weekend <laughs> and uh, here is a uh, I'm out of trying to edit some video and here is some storage or some uh, it's a, it's a drawer. Here's a money bank, piggy bank, and a Wi-Fi antenna. Going back like a book. Here's a UV802 mixer. Bye bye buggy. Here's a UV802 mixer that I got off of uh, eBay for a few dollars. Um, Bob Heil told me to get it, told me to get it because if you want your signal to be punchy and very uh, audible, you want to roll off the lows, increase the mid-range, and uh, keep it keep it even, like keep it kind of mid-low on the highs. So he told me to get that mixer in particular um, at the Collinsville Ham Fest. Um, he's a really crazy guy. Kind of, he's really funny, but he's he's an innovator, American innovator, you know. So uh, moving on, here is a Sure Desk mic with a Heil HC4 element. Um, the problem is it doesn't work well with my ICOM radio because it has very low mic gain. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it's really annoying. You have to turn the mic gain all the way up to get sufficient audio, you know. So Over here is my 25 amp power supply with a filter mod, including a capacitor and filter chokes, fil ferrite filter chokes on the output leads um, inside the box, like the input output leads, you know. Here is a uh, MFJ a VHF watt meter, SWR meter, that I completely doubt its accuracy on, because the only adjustment is, uh, the only way you can know it's accurate is by matching this tick to this tick, 30, 30, uh, watt tick, you know, so, come on MFJ. Um, right here is, uh, the Heil ProSet IC headset. Um, it's, it's got a really cool thing. Like if you have, if you switch this switch right here, you can either have it to where it's in the middle of your head, or you can have it to where it's outside your head. So you have like a spatial um, representation of the signal. So you can, it's. I think it's a lot better for CW, but it's really interesting. And so here is the radio. Right now, tuned to fourteen one nine zero. Um, Nikon. I see 746. Um, I got it off of eBay for about $850 along with this um, mic. Um, it does very good. And uh, But I don't get many audio reports, so I probably don't have very great audio. That's only because of that uh, mic down there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The, only, the reason why I got an IC 1046 is because I would like to see my frequency because the IC 746 Pro based on eham reviews has a lot of problems with the d display um di like dying but on the other hand i don't get 32 po uh, bit po floating point dsp um but what i do get is twin passband tuning and a noise reducer and that's all i really need um, so down here is a computer dell dimension 5100 running vista xp or vista went vista home premium um, it has a NVIDIA 8600 GT new, uh, new video card, it has a uh, new sound card, a Wi-Fi card, a, uh, a new hard drive, and a new CD drive, as well as 4 gigabytes of memory, so it's been quite upgraded since I got it about, oh, maybe s six years ago, I think, it's been a long time. Um, so right here is a... And well, let's say, let's go over here. Right here is a power supply for a computer, formally. Now I'm trying to um, change it to a uh, 
regular power supply like this with two output leads instead of like 80. And over here behind that is a salt water dummy load. You have to have the right ratio of salt to water to have the correct amount of conductivity slash resistivity to uh, equal 50 ohms through uh, 33 megahertz to, through 30 megahertz. So I've got a, I've got it to that and it works pretty good. Uh, right here is an is an arrow antenna that I had to reassemble to work the nets down south of me. Um, it works very good. It's a nine decibel over isotropic at nine dBi antenna. Um, it works well because here in my room, about five feet off the ground, it gets into a repeater full quieting without uh, any any noise uh, with 10 watts and that repeater is 20 miles away so it does pretty good and up here on the on ceiling, hanging on the ceiling is a ground plane for two meters I made that prior to putting the beam back together because uh, it's a little less space consuming but it doesn't work as well so anyway here's some more mess and here's my TV and that I never watch and my keyboard I play piano very good. And a big mess of junk. A um, guitar and a guitar amp. A Hammer H H or C X series uh, with humbucker pickups. We got seven more. Here's a ride cymbal, QST magazines, and a bookshelf. Here's the book I studied extra class. My extra class thing uh, for my extra class license. And then up there on my wall are a few posters. Guitar cord uh, sheet and my National Honor Society certificate, my Disney brochures and guide maps, and here is a uh, QSL card collection. Uh, here's my green one, but I only have like six, like one from Katie Zero BCX, my friend down in Union, who is a, another ham, um, about 30 mi or probably 20 miles south of me, same place in, as the repeater in Washington. But these three other ones are from uh, SSB sweepstakes, so I haven't got many, but I have sent out a few, and I need to send more that are sitting now up there on my desk. So here's my other radio hanging up on my wall. Um, let me demonstrate a little bit. Okay, we're tuned up. Uh, oh darn, we don't have a microphone, so we're gonna have to skip out on this uh, FTDX 9000D demonstration. Uh, 400 watts are amazing. So, uh, that's about it. Now over here is where my extra class lessons will go, and this is a band chart, which I don't need anymore because I can transmit on every frequency. Not really, but, so, anyway. Uh, thanks for watching, or actually, let's go outside and, uh, look at the single point ground system and my antenna, uh, out there. So, see you outside in a bit.